Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Dude Cast. We haven't done a Dude Cast in a while. Um, that's because there hasn't been many ideas, but I I have some now. <laughs> I I got a few ideas now, and um, well, okay, so there there has been kind of a hiatus between episode fourteen and this episode, which is episode fifteen. Reason for that is actually very simple because you see, here's the thing, so. In the middle of episode 14 and episode 15, which is this episode that you're currently listening to, I am actually a part of another podcast. This one is called the Coast to Coast Podcast, which is literally just a podcast with me and my buddies, basically, like Caleb, Lane, all of them. They're all on it. Um, We're the main three of the show. Uh, Right now, there's just one episode, but I highly recommend you guys check it out because there's supposed to be another episode coming out. I don't know when that episode's coming out, but supposedly it is coming out eventually. I just don't know when. Um, But yeah, that's that's Caleb's podcast. It's called The Coast to Coast. I'm not sure if I'm going to link it or not, but I highly recommend. If you want to search it up, you're not going to be able to find it uh, via search um, because it's just not that popular. (laughs) Um, But and this is why this is why I did find it. So if you want to find that podcast, all you have to do is just uh, look up uh, "fuck you, Jackson Mahomes." Like literally word for word, just look up "fuck you, Jackson Mahomes," and that's the first video that should come up, or like one of the first few videos that should come up. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing uh, since the last episode came out, which uh, people seem to like the last episode. Um, not really. People don't really like it when I do sports. Uh, on the show for some reason. I don't know. I find it fun. Uh, but I know a lot of people, maybe not a lot of people, but some people don't. Um, but I know people will really like this one. So uh, Marvel. Yeah, we're, we're ranking Marvel stuff today. Uh, that should be fun. Um, I love Marvel. I love the MCU. Um, yeah, I mean, like, it's just a great time, you know? Like, I know some people don't like the MCU, but a good majority of people do. Uh I am one of those many people that actually do like the MCU. Um, but yeah, everyone, like for the most part, likes the MCU. Uh, and today we're going to be ranking uh, every single movie uh, show that's not counting other shows like Iron Fist, Luke Cage. Um, I'm not sure if The Punisher counts. Maybe it does. I don't know. I saw a thing that The Punisher is coming to the MCU, so I mean... It might, it might not. I hope that's true because I, I like John Bernthal as, uh, as the Punisher. I thought he was, he did really good. I like John Bernthal as an actor in general. Very underrated actor, in my opinion. Okay, so, whew, chest kind of hurts a little bit, but that's fine. Um, so yeah. With that being said, so we got, um, from A, we got S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. Um, there's no F. It's just from S to D. So D obviously is the worst, and S is obviously the best. Everything else is either good to meh to it was all right, you know? So, yeah, you you guys know how the fucking S tier works by now. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, let's, just, let's just do this thing. All right, so we got a not-so-great one starting things off here. So starting things off, um, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't a very humongous fan of this movie. I really wasn't. Um, I think that's just because of the fact that I think, and I could be mistaken here, but I'm almost positive, it, this is how it went. So I think this was the movie that came out, oh, excuse me, this was the movie that came out after Infinity War, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that went. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was. Um... Or was it Captain Marvel? No, I think Captain Marvel came after this one. Yeah, I think. Um, so yeah, I think Ant-Man and the Wasp was the first movie that came out after uh, Infinity War. And it did not have much to offer. And I'm not going to lie, I was not excited. Not overly excited for this movie, but I mean, it was an MCU movie, so I was like kind of excited. Plus, I think Ant-Man is one of the more underrated characters of the MCU. I think uh, he's a funny character. Uh... Let me talk about some of the positives of this movie first. Uh, Luis. 
uh, I fucking I fucking love Luis and his little trio. Um, he steals every scene that he is in. Anytime it's a comedic scene, which most of the scenes that he's in are a comedic scene. Uh, yeah, Luis easily best part of that whole movie, especially the part where they come on the truth serum. I thought that was hilarious. Um, Paul Rudd kills it in this movie. Um, but he just he doesn't have a whole lot to work with. I felt like he didn't he didn't really have a lot to really sink his teeth into other than, you know, your Ant-Man, basically. Um, but yeah, like, I thought everyone did good in the movie. Um, Ghost, the the main villain, very forgettable villain, have not seen her or heard of her since. Um, maybe we'll hear something about her in the third Ant-Man movie, Quantumania, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, Wasp was a highlight of the movie, easily. Um, I really liked what they did with her. Although I wish they did a little bit more, maybe fleshed her out a little bit more. Um, yeah, it, it's okay. It's not a horrible movie by any means. There's definitely effort put into it, but I don't know. I think it's just the fact that it came out after Infinity War, and Infinity War was just such a big, big movie, you know. So it, therefore, it kind of makes sense to kind of have like a B-level tier movie come out after that, because you know, you need to calm down a little bit. But I think. You know, it's enjoyable, but I would not recommend this one if I was just going to watch it, like, alone. So, um, yeah, I think Ant-Man the Wasp C tier, I think. Um, it sounded like I was going to give it low B, but no, nah, it's it's a C for sure. Uh, and then after, after that, we got the first Ant-Man, which uh, I think the first Ant-Man is way better than the second. Um... Again, you know, not the best Marvel movie ever made, but uh, definitely one of the more self-aware Marvel movies, which I think is kind of why I kind of like Ant-Man, because it's very self-aware of what it is. Uh, it's aware of how ridiculous the concept of a character like Ant-Man is, and it, like... <clears throat> I don't know. I enjoyed Ant-Man. I think it's I think it's one of the more funnier MCU movies. Uh, this one and Guardians of the Galaxy are easily, like, the funniest Marvel movies in the in the series, so, um, but I think it's, it's a little more forgettable, other than the, it, it, other than the fact that it introduces the, the, uh, the whole quantum thing, like, the whole small dimension and stuff like that, which I thought was really cool, and, you know, like, even in the second one, I thought that was cool how they did that, um, so, I, I'll put the original Ant-Man in B, you know, again, not a, not a fantastic movie, but definitely better than the second one, and very funny. Um, Avengers Age of Ultron is next up on the list. Uh, I don't know what to say about this movie. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was good. Like, this isn't like a Shakespeare movie by any fucking means. And like, it's just a, I think it's safe to say Age of Ultron is just a, it's just a sit back and eat some popcorn kind of movie, you know, like. It's just one of those movies that you can just kind of, you know, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you think about it. Um, but like if you sit there and you just kind of turn your brain off, uh, you can just you can enjoy it for what it is. It's a it's a silly blockbuster action movie, you know. It doesn't have much of a story. But uh oddly enough, this one in the in the first Avengers is the one that gets referenced the most in the MCU. Um because without Age of Ultron, we wouldn't have had Civil War and Civil War was basically the whole like this movie Age of Ultron was like the sole reason why Civil War happened so I mean it's not like it's a throwaway movie it's an important movie um and I like the fact that every Avengers movie is built like this uh this big time event and then like there are events that follow after that I like how they do that I personally enjoy how they do that um I'd say it's definitely the weakest of the Avengers movies by far. Um, but it, out of all the Avengers movies, it's the, it's the one that I've seen the most. <laughs> um, I don't know. The whole thing with uh, with Hulk, with Bruce and uh, Natasha, I thought it was kind of weird. Um, I just did not buy into that at all. I, I really didn't. I mean, it could have been like anyone. It could have been literally anyone else. Like it could have been maybe... I don't know. Like, I just, I think, I don't think it's a bad idea to give Natasha a love story. 
I actually kind of like that concept. Uh, I just, I don't know if I like it with Bruce. I don't know. I just, I thought it was really weird. Like out of all the people that you could have like ha- given her like a romantic storyline with, you had to give her one with the guy that turns into this green hulking monster. I mean, it's unique. I'll give it that. It's unique. Um, but I mean, at the same time, you know, you have Captain America, but he's got that thing with Peggy. You know, he's not over Peggy. You got Clint, Hawkeye, uh, but he's married, as we find out in this movie, which I actually kind of liked. They fleshed out Hawkeye. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that, I mean, you got, you got Tony, he's got Pepper. Um, War Machine? Like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Or, I guess, you know, they could have just not given her one, I guess. I mean, I guess I could work. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like Black Widow didn't really need a relationship. I don't know. That's just me. Um, Everything else in this movie was fine. You know, Tony was fine. Uh, Captain America, he was fine. He had some of the better moments in this movie. Um, But I'd still say it's definitely one of the weaker of the Avengers films, so I'm going to put it in B tier with Ant-Man. So just to recap, uh, so... So far, there are no S-tiers, no A-tiers, no D-tiers. We have two B-tiers, which is Ant-Man and Avengers Age of Ultron. And then in C-tier, we have Ant-Man and the Wasp. So just to have a little recap. I'm going to do recaps of that every once in a while. So up next, oh, man, Avengers Infinity War. I mean, what what is there? This, this might be the best Avengers movie. Like, or just like the best MCU movie, like in general. Um, like, Endgame, I, I loved Endgame so fucking much. But its story, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Infinity War, I think, has a better story than Endgame. That's just my opinion. Not not trying to like bash on Endgame or anything. I th- I still think Endgame is a fantastic movie, um, but I still say Infinity War I think might be the better of the two. I think. I mean, Endgame's final battle will never be topped by any MCU thing ever. Maybe it will I don't know, but it's. I still say Infinity War has a better storyline. Let me let me just put it to you like that. Infinity War has a better storyline than. Endgame. I I fuck I, this movie like Thanos is fantastic in this movie. Uh, I really like how they fleshed out every character, gave every because there's a lot of fucking characters in this movie, and I'm glad they kind of split them off into groups and focused on those groups. I thought that was kind of cool. Um. Yeah, like the soundtrack, the action, all of that is just fantastic in this movie. Um. Yeah, like, it's just, it's MCU at its best, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah, it it made Thanos incredible as a villain. Um, I like the whole storyline with Tony, you know, and I, and I love, love, love how this movie ends. I, I really do. Um, because it's such because the snap at the end is such a big moment in the MCU to that to this day in 2022 with all the Marvel stuff that's coming out they're still referencing that because the snap is such a gi- it's such a big moment everyone it affects everyone and I'm glad we get to see how it affects like literally everyone in like life and shit I don't know I think Infinity War S S tier easily S tier Okay, so, oh, God. Uh, Captain Marvel. Um, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Other than, like, some clips here and there, I have actually not watched Captain Marvel. I didn't see it in theaters. I skipped it in my, um, <laughs> I skipped it on my Marvel we- rewatch. Um, and I think that's just cause like, 
it's mainly because of the actress, you know? Because Brie Larson may put a lot of polit- political stuff into this movie. Like, uh, like the build-up to this movie was her being all, like, political about everything, and it was rubbing people the wrong way about her and the, and the movie. And people were not a humongous fan. And plus, I heard the movie itself was just not very good. Um, she's kind of a Mary Sue. Uh, I just, I don't like Captain Marvel as a character in general. Like, I just, I don't, I didn't like her in Endgame either. Although I'm kind of glad that they didn't give her a whole lot of screen time. And, uh, let, let me, let me just put it, let me just put it like this. When she's not talking and like actually doing shit that doesn't involve talking, like, f- like fighting or just like doing anything else, she's great. But when she's talking, she's just so arrogant and like, just so unlikable. Like, and and you could say the same thing for Tony too. You could say you could say the same thing for Tony Stark. And you know, oh, he's so egotistical. He's so unlikable. But that's the point of his character. He's a millionaire. You know, he's a billionaire. Of course, he's going to be egotistical. Of course, that makes sense. Um, you know, I can't say the same thing for Captain Marvel, but. You know, every clip that I've seen is just, it doesn't look very good. It Obviously, it's well filmed. It looks good. The performances are good. But it's just, I don't know. I'll just give it a D tier because I actually have not seen it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Captain America Winter Soldier. Oh. Oh, man. Captain America and the Winter Soldier, dude. Great movie. A uh, great spy movie. Great spy movie. Um, I love what they did with Captain America. I love how they grounded his character and made him more realistic. And plus, the action in this movie is just fantastic. I love uh, Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier. Um, you know, everyone gives it their all in this movie, and it's great. Um, I'll give it an S tier, just because. Um, I think it's that good. I'll give it an S tier. Um, and now we got the... Oh, we got, like, the whole Captain America trilogy here. Um, so now we got the first Captain America. Uh, not gonna lie. I think this one's definitely the weakest of the trilogy. It's still good, though. Um, it's not bad. I'm kind of tempted to put it in A tier, because... Chris Evans does a fantastic job as Captain America. Everyone in this movie does great. Um, Red Skull, kind of a generic villain, in my opinion. Uh, but his performance was still good. It was it was still good, in my opinion. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know what to give this one. I'm just going to give it an A tier, because there, there has been an A tier in a while. Um, Civil War... Civil War. Oh, man. Do I give this one an S tier? Because it's such a good movie. The The storyline between uh, Captain America and Iron Man, it's so, it's so good. It's so good, especially the finale. The finale of this movie is fantastic. Um, is it worthy of S tier, though? Um, that's going to put two Captain America movies in S tier for me. Because it's just kind of like Avengers 2.0, basically. Um, but it still focuses on Captain America the most. Hmm. I'm tempted to put it in S tier, but... There's just there's a lot I like about this movie. It's not bad. It's very, very good. Um, yeah, I'm having, like, hard... I'm having a hard time, like, trying to figure out where to put this thing. Uh... Let's take a small break for a second. I, I gotta I gotta think about this. This one's tough. Hey there, you sexy son of a bitch. What's that? You're listening to the Daycast? Get out of here. Get out of town. You mean to tell me this is the first ever episode of the Dudecast that you have listened to? What are you doing with your life? Check out all the other episodes of this podcast, you fool. What are you doing? Tell you what. You check out the playlist for this podcast, which is now 15 episodes long, including this one. 
You check it out, your life will be changed forever. I guarantee you that. Because you're listening to the defense, the best podcast ever made. Anyways, now that that's over, on to the others. You know what? I've made up my mind. I've made my decision. And I've decided that I'm going to put Civil War in S tier. Just because I think the story of it is great. And I love how it builds off of... Oh, excuse me. I love how it builds off of Age of Ultron. And I just think it's a great movie. Like, I think it's just a great movie. Like, that's... Yeah, I had to really think about that one. Um, Let's talk about... Doctor Strange next. Doctor Strange. So, Doctor Strange. Um... Visual, visually, insane. It's a visual effects movie that knocks its effects out of the fucking park. This movie is, like, if you're high watching this movie, oh my god, you're going to have a fucking field day with this movie. Because the this, the visual effects scene, when he's, like, getting when he has like that acid trip like when the I'm forgetting what her name is the bald lady I forgot the timekeeper something something like that I don't know I forgot what her name is um there's too many damn characters I forgot what her name is but um when she takes him on that like soul journey kind of and he's like in space and shit like that that shit's insane that is insane um and uh you know, I thought Benedict Cumberbatch did a really good job, but there's one there's one gripe I kind of had with this movie, and that's how fast they did his origin story. Granted, I know we wouldn't have, like, a movie if that was the case, and it would be kind of boring if it was this whole thing was kind of his origin story. I mean, I mean it kind of was his origin, his origin story, but, like, the way they got to him, like, trying to fix his hands and shit like that, I felt like that felt kind of rushed a little bit because we were like just getting introduced to the character of Stephen Strange right and next thing you know oh shit he's in an accident now like I felt like they could have taken their time a little bit with that but uh you know everything after that is good it's great um I love how he makes his door Dor- fuck I can't even say his name right Dormammu I love how he makes Dormammu, like, just basically rage quit. I mean, I thought that was kind of, you know, you don't see that very often. He just keeps coming back. He's like, Dormammu, Dormammu, Dormammu. You know, like, I thought I thought that was funny and clever. Um, plus, I think Doctor Strange is just a great character overall. Um, a lot of the characters in the MCU are pretty good. Um, there's a very few bad ones, and when there is bad ones, they, sh- they shine. <laughs> they shine. Um... I'll give Doctor Strange B tier. Just because, you know, I didn't like how they kind of rushed his origin story. Like, I'm glad they kind of just, like, got straight to the point. But, you know, I just I felt like they could have, like, spent a little more time kind of getting us used to Stephen Strange before that accident. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> there are a lot. There is a lot of fucking movies and shows. Holy shit. There is a lot. Uh, okay, so just to recap, let's do, let's do a quick little recap here. So in S tier, we have three. In S tier, we have Avengers Infinity War, Captain America the Winter Soldier, and then Captain America Civil War. In A tier, we have Captain America the First Avenger, and that's it. In B tier, we have Ant-Man, Avengers Age of Ultron, and Doctor Strange. In C tier is still Ant-Man and the Wasp and in D tier <laughs> is Captain Marvel. So yeah, um looking very promising so far for this list. Um I'm going to try to speed it up just a little bit here. Uh so yeah, next up is Avengers Endgame. Endgame uh fantastic movie. Fantastic finale. Um I will not I'll say this, it's a great Avengers movie. But I will say it is not the best Avengers movie. I still think that's Infinity War. But it's got the greatest... 
It's a fucking, it's a damn good movie. It's a very, very good movie. I had so much fun with this movie. Um, I got super hyped with everything. Like when Captain America lifted uh, Mjolnir, I thought that was fucking insane. I went crazy for that. Um, when everyone came back through the portals, I had the hugest grin on my face. Um, and I got some good laughs. I laughed at quite a bit in this movie. And when Thanos died in the beginning, I was genuinely shocked. Like, yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie. I, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, but I still don't think it's the best, uh, Avengers movie, if that makes sense. Cause, uh, the, the whole time travel thing, I kind of figured that's where they were going to go with it. Uh, and it, for the most part, it's done relatively well. Um, but it takes up a good chunk of the movie, which I mean, okay, you know, it makes sense. Um, and plus there are some things about the time travel that are actually like really good. Like when cat, when Amer when shit, shit, when captain, I, <laughs> I about said when captain and then I corrected myself. I was like, no, wait, uh, when America, <laughs> and then I said, when America, <laughs> oh man, it's early. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Um, no, but when Steve, like the scene where Steve sees Peggy in the other room and he's just kind of looking at her and he's all sad. I thought that was great. And the scene where Tony sees his dad and interacts with his dad. I thought that was great. Um, but yeah, like they did the Captain America versus Captain America. I thought that was cool, but, uh, kind of unnecessary, but it was still cool to see. Um, yeah, like I just I thought Fat Thor was funny. Um but yeah, I think I don't think Endgame is an S tier, but I think it's a very high A. I'm going to put it above uh Captain America 1 for sure. It's definitely top it's definitely top of 8 of top of A tier. Endgame is top A tier. Uh here's an easily S tier movie. Uh Guardians of the Galaxy 1 talk about a shot in the dark movie like this movie before this movie came out who knew who who knew who the guardians of the galaxy were very few people and when this movie came out people loved this movie fun fact my brother does not like this movie <laughs> uh for the life of me i cannot understand why he went but he just he doesn't like the movie but everyone else does uh it's peyton's favorite movie um yeah, it's funny. It's fucking hilarious. This movie still gets laughs out of me every once in a while. Um, yeah, I still... It's very charming. It's very surprising. And the soundtrack kicks ass. It's going to nest here. Um, all right. So, that takes care of that. Next up, Spider-Man uh, Far From Home. I kind of... I get the Spider-Man titles mixed up. Spider-Man Far From Home, otherwise known as Spider-Man 2... Um, good movie. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I love the Spider-Man trilogy in the MCU. I thought it was very well done. Um, still had a very good time with Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, I say Homecoming is better, but I still say this one is a lot more fun than Homecoming. Homecoming is still fun. It's still a very fun movie. I enjoy Homecoming a lot. Um, this one, I love the Mysterio shit, the hallucination with Mysterio, fantastic. Uh, very trippy. Um, I thought Tom Holland's performance in this movie was great. I thought everyone in this movie did great. Um, I didn't... Yeah, I'll give it. I'll give it A. I'll put it in A tier. Why not? Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Now this one, uh, I think I can give this one an A too, because it's not as good as the first one, but it's still, it might, it might be funnier than the first one actually. Like the quality, it's got a lot, the quality is definitely stepped up from the first one, but. The first one is still a great, great, great movie. And this one, it's a good sequel, but it's not as good as the first one, in my opinion. Um, and I think that's just because, like, 
I think they could have fleshed out Peter and his dad a little bit more. I know they did the thing where he's throwing him the ball and he wanted to do that since he was a kid and they got to do it finally. Um, I just think they could have done a little bit more to make that like shock twist at the end where he reveals that he killed his mom. I think they could have done more with that to make that a little more shocking. Like, I love the way it's delivered when he's just like, you know, the, it comes out of nowhere and it catches you by surprise. Like, wait, what the fuck did he just say? You know, like, yeah. Um, I say Guardians 2. It's not an S tier, but it's definitely A tier. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Incredible Hulk. Um, I skipped this one, too, uh, just because of the fact that, you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't even matter other than... You know, it's the Hulk, but, like, we got a different Hulk in the end anyway, so this Hulk in the movie doesn't really even matter. Um, it's an okay movie. I'll, I'll put it in D, just because of the fact that, you know, it's not very great. <sighs> the The abomination scene, the abo- the fight with abomination is fantastic, though, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll give it that. Um, Iron Man 2, uh... Iron Man 2 C tier. I don't I don't like Mickey Rourke as Whiplash, very forgettable villain. Um to, uh Robert Downey Jr kills it once again. It's not very hard for him to do that. <laughs> um but yeah. Very forgettable other than the fact that it introduces War Machine and Black Widow, other than that very forgetful. Um but yeah, like Black Widow gets introduced into this movie uh and she does great the action scene that she has towards the end is fantastic. Um, yeah, and the fight with Iron Man and Rhodey, I thought that was fun. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, one of the more better parts of the movie, but yeah, I say Iron Man 2, uh, definitely C tier for sure. So that's going to go. That's our first C tier in a while. Uh, yeah, like that's our that's our first C tier in a while. Um, Iron Man 3. Uh, I know this movie got a lot of hate. I know people hate, people liked this movie, but it got a lot of criticism about, I think it was about the whole, uh, Mandarin thing, how they did the Mandal, the, I about to say Mandalorian. Uh, no, Man- Mandarin. Uh, I think they did the Mandarin thing. I was not a humongous fan of. Um, it would have been better if it was the man, like the actual Mandarin, like the one with the rings. Um, so yeah, that was kind of disappointing, but I think as a movie as a whole, it's not that bad. It's not horrible. Um, I think it's good. It's better than what people say it is, I think, in my opinion. Um, but I can see, I can also see why people would not like it. Uh, but I think, you know, the sound, it's got a cool soundtrack. I like Iron Man's theme in this, in this movie. It's very catchy. Um, I'll give it bottom B tier. Bottom of B tier. That makes sense. And then, of course, you got Iron Man. You got the first Iron Man, which people will instantly put in S tier. Uh, But I'm going to be honest with you for a second. This one might be a little more controversial. I think Iron Man is... not. Oh, shit. Dogs are going insane. Anyways, as I was saying before, my dog decided to go ape shit. Um, Iron Man 1. I'm going to be a little controversial here. So I know everyone loves the first Iron Man, right? Everyone loves the first Iron Man. I think it's a good movie. I don't think it should be an S tier, though. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Um, keep in mind, it's the first MCU movie. It's the one that started it all. If it wasn't for this movie, we wouldn't have a whole cinematic universe, right? I still think it's a fantastic movie. It is. I just... I don't... think that it is as good as people say it is. I mean, it's it's still good. It's still very good. You know, everyone does fantastic. I just... Like, Obadiah Stain, or whatever the fuck his name is, he's great. His actor's fantastic, but I just... I, I don't know. 
it just it feels so like com- obviously compared to now it feels so limited well, that's because it's the first one um I don't think it's worth I don't think it's s tier just because like it's not as memorable as some of the other ones. I mean, obviously it's memorable for the right reasons because it's the first one. It's the one that started everything. I just... There are so many things that are good about it. And yet I don't really remember a whole lot about the actual movie itself other than, you know, the things that are great about it. Um, But, I don't know. I'm just going to be completely honest. I think it goes in A tier, just below S tier, like a, mm, I kind of want to give it an S tier, ah, God, I kind of want to give it an S tier too, oh my God, you know what, I changed my mind, I changed my mind, Iron Man, I'm going to put it in S tier, but it's going to be bottom S tier. It's just going to be bottom S tier. I like it. I just, I don't like it compared to some of the other ones. That's, that's the other thing. That's the thing. Okay. So Black Panther. Black Panther. Uh, I think this movie is a little overhyped. I'm just going to be honest. Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, did it great in this movie. Um, I like a lot about this movie. The soundtrack is, I still listen to the soundtrack every once in a while. It's that good. Um, yeah, on first viewing, I didn't, it took me like a couple of viewings to really understand what was happening. Um, but I think it's not B tier. It's definitely not B tier. I say Black Panther is A tier. Definitely. I I don't think it's B tier. I, I just, I don't, I don't think it is. There's, there's just too much good about it. Not to say that anything in B is bad. It's just it's not as good as A. You know? uh, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of shit for that Iron Man one. Oh well. Hey, you know what? It's an it's an S tier still. Okay, <laughs> it's just in the bottom a barrel bottom of the barrel of S tier. It's still it's still good. Okay, I I still really like the movie. I'm not hating on the movie. I still really really like it. It's still a good movie. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of good movies, we got Spider Man Homecoming now. This is where I. <laughs> this is gonna be so controversial. I actually like Homecoming more than the first Iron Man. I do. Um, and the reason for that is because I love the high school aspect to it. Keep in mind, I saw it when I was a teenager. I saw most of these when I was a teenager. I saw the first Iron Man. The first Iron Man came out when I was like eight. I want to say, and that's crazy. That's crazy. It's still going. Um. But I, I like the the high school aspect because I was in the middle of high school when I saw it, so it, it fit perfectly uh, for the time. Um, like I, I think I was a, I was a sophomore in high school when this movie came out, and it, yeah, it was it was yeah per, it fit perfectly. Um, yeah, I like I really like the high school aspect to it. Um, I'm forgetting what the actor's name is, but the guy that plays Vulture does fit. A phenomenal job as the vulture. Um, I really like the. I love, love, love the twist towards the end, where uh, it's revealed that Vulture is uh, Peter's high school crush's dad. Uh, that reveal came out of absolutely nowhere, and it caught everyone by surprise. And the scene where they're in the car, and the vulture starts to figure out that Peter is Spider-Man, he starts putting the pieces together. Oh, it's such a good scene. It's so fucking good. And the scene where Peter, he's like, oh, come on, Spider-Man, come on, Spider-Man. Like when he gets stuck under that rubble and he has to like force himself to push it up. Oh, it's so good. Um, I'm going to put Spider-Man Homecoming in S tier. That, that might be a little controversial, but I, I genuinely really, really like Homecoming. I think it's a really uh, fresh take on Spider-Man. And I just, I think it's a good movie overall. I think it's a good movie. Thor, the first Thor. Um, I will say it's a little underrated, but it's not that great either. Um, I like Iron Man more than Thor, which is not saying much. Um, Thor, it's not awful. 
I, I feel like I have to say this about like every movie that I'm talking about. It's not awful. Um, it's not great either. Um, it's kind of boring. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of boring. Um, but like Tom Hiddleston, fantastic. Chris Hemsworth, funny. Um, I really like how they just dropped the serious act for Thor entirely and just made him funny. It just it works. Um, because the serious stuff was just boring in my opinion. So I'm just gonna put that in C tier. And uh. Speaking of boring, you got Thor 2 in the Dark World. Um, is it weird that I actually kind of like this one more than the first? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not the greatest movie ever made, but I, I actually kind of like this one more than the first one. Um, I don't know if I want to put it in... I'm not going to put it in B tier. I'm not. Because it's the weakest MCU movie by far. It just offers nothing. But I like it more than the first Thor. So yeah, that's going to go there. Thor 3. Oh, they got the whole trilogy. <laughs> Thor 3. Oh my god. Funniest MCU movie. Right up there with Guardians and Ant-Man. It's funnier than Ant-Man. Hell, I'll even make a controversial statement. It's funnier than Guardians of the Galaxy. It is fucking hilarious. It is easily the funniest movie in the MCU. Easily, um, there's just so many. There's just so much good in this movie. It's just it's so good. I'm gonna, yeah, S, easy S. Thor Ragnarok, easy S tier, easy S tier. Avengers, the first Avengers, kind of boring. In the middle, uh, not much really happens, and then the action. The action's great in this movie. Um, all the characters are great. It's a good movie. It's a good, solid movie. Good, solid start. Um, again, you know, like if I had to rank the uh, the Avengers movies in order, it would probably go uh, f- from one to four, I should say. Like if I rank the Avengers movies one through four, four, uh, Age of Ultron, three, the, f- the first Avengers, Two, Endgame, one, Infinity War. So, because that, I'm going to put Avengers in A tier. So, just to recap, do a quick little recap here, like I've been doing. S tier, we have Infinity War, Winter Soldier, Civil War, Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Ragnarok, Homecoming, and Iron Man 1. A tier, we got Endgame, the first Avenger, uh, Guardians 2, Far From Home, uh, Black Panther, the first Avengers. B tier, Ant-Man, Age of Ultron, Iron Man 3, Doctor Strange. C tier, uh, Ant-Man the Wasp, Iron Man 2, Thor 2, and Thor 1. D tier is Captain Marvel and the Hulk. So, now, moving on. Okay, we got a final stretch here. We got a final stretch. How much do we got left? We got... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We got 9 left. Okay. So, now we're getting into the more current... Uh, the ones that came out this year, or I guess last year. Um, so yeah, WandaVision. Um, I liked WandaVision. I really liked what WandaVision was. Um, I liked the setup to it. I like what the sitcom stuff was genius. I thought that was fantastic. Um, Elizabeth Olsen is great in this um vision i forgot what the, his actor's name is but he's great in this as well um i loved the sitcom of it it was funny but at the same time like you could like the dark undertone of it was genius in my opinion but i don't know the final episode kind of was meh you know the action it was good um but i don't know i the finale kind of bumped it down a notch for me um it's not it's actually a pretty decent show uh but i'm gonna put wandavision b tier easily b tier uh falcon and winter soldier i don't remember much about this other than it existed for solely to make the falcon the new captain america 
which is fine. Um, I liked everything about Bucky. I liked his little redemption arc. Um, Sam's arc in this is also pretty good. Um, the villain is horrible. <laughs> the villain was the villains in this show were just fucking terrible. Um, except for the fake Captain America, he was pretty good. Uh, I hated him, but for the right reasons. Um, Zemo I thought was great. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll I'll put it in B tier. Just because I don't remember much about it other than that. Loki, oh Loki. Easily my favorite show to come out, my favorite Marvel show to come out last year. Oh my god, so good. Tom Hiddleston just knocks it out of the fucking park. Um, I loved the love story with him and Sylvie. Of course, Loki's gonna fall for someone. He's gonna fall for the female version of himself. Of course he is. That just makes sense. Um, I loved the cliffhanger. It took me a second to get it, but. Upon further review, I, I finally got it, and uh, I thought that was great. Um, Loki is a good show. I, it, it was one of the shows that I was excited for every episode that came out, if that makes sense. Um, the TVA, all that stuff. Woody Harrelson. That's not Woody Harrelson. Owen Wilson. <laughs> I don't know why I said Woody Harrelson. Owen Wilson, uh, disappointed that he hasn't said wow yet, but I'm sure that's coming. That's got to be coming, right? It's the MCU. They love memes. You know, it's got to be coming. They put Fortnite in Endgame. I mean, there's no way. There's no way he can't say wow at least once. But other than that, I say Loki is S tier. That's just my opinion. Shang-Chi. Uh, martial arts fan are great. The great martial arts. It's one of the greater, more martial art. That, that sentence. That whole sentence did not make any sense. The martial arts in this movie are great. Great martial arts. Um, I'm going to be a little controversial again here. I don't... I think... Yes. I think Shang-Chi is just a tad bit overrated. I know people loved this movie, and don't get me wrong, I thought it was good too, but I just didn't think it was as good as people were saying that it was, but I still enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, and so, because of that, I'm, I'm going to put it in B tier. Yes. There hasn't been a whole lot of C's and a whole lot of D's. There hasn't been... Oh, shit, I moved Hulk back up to D. Oops. Okay. All right. Um, Black Widow. Uh I liked it at first, but uh, upon further review, was not a great movie. Um, there are good parts in it, like Yelena. I fucking love Yelena. She's easily the best part of that whole movie. Um, fucking Officer Hopkins <laughs> his, is uh, in this movie, and um, I like his character. Um, I hate what they did with Taskmaster. Taskmaster. There we go. Um, I thought that was terrible. Um, and plus, Black Widow herself feels like a afterthought in her own movie. And plus, it's just the release of this movie that makes no sense. Why would you release this movie now after she's dead? You know? Like, why would you do that? I don't know. I'm gonna put Black Widow in D. Just because it's such a missed opportunity. But Yelena's good, though. Um, alright, we're down to the final four here. What if? Um, I again, something that I've never watched before, but I've heard really good things about it. So I'm gonna put it in B. I'm gonna put it in B tier. Um, I'll check it out some point. I'll check it out because it's connected to Doctor Str the new Doctor Strange movie. So I gotta check it out at some point. Hawkeye. Um, I actually enjoyed Hawkeye. I'm not gonna lie. I actually enjoyed Hawkeye. Uh, I I liked that they grounded his character. I like what they did with him and Kate. I thought Kate was a good character. Uh, obviously, she's gonna be stepping in for Hawkeye more than likely. Um, but you know, I like what they did with Hawkeye. I like how they gave him hearing loss, but they kind of forgot about it after a while. That was kind of lame. But you know, I like the scene with him and Kate where he's trying to talk to his son on the phone and he can't hear him. So Kate has to like write down what his son is saying. I thought that was a really good scene. I I remember watching that and thinking, well. 
that was fucking sad, you know, like, um, Kingpin, he's in it, I was kind of mad, because I thought they wasted his character, but there's an, there's a show coming out called Echoes, he might be in that, he might have gotten saved, because we don't actually see him die, so I mean, you know, he could be back, um, I'll put Hawkeye in, just because I liked it, I'll put an A tier, <laughs> I'll just put an A tier, why not, and finally, we got Eternals. Uh, very slow, very slow, and I, and I've heard people say, oh, it's because, you know, you're so used to, you know, the big action sequences, and there are action sequences in this, and they're great, um, but it's very slow, and I, upon the first time watching it, I didn't really get it, you know, I, I had a hard time following it, and I hate when movies do that, I hate when they're hard to follow, um, I liked the twist of Icarus being a bad guy, but then he kind of wasn't, and then he just flew into the sun because get it because Icarus flies into the sun. Um, it's not great enough for me to give it a B tier, but it's not bad enough for me to want to put it in D. Because there's some interesting stuff about it. There is. I'll I'll give it a C. I'll be fair and give it a C. And last but certainly not least, we got Spider Man, No Way Home. Fantastic movie. Fantastic theater experience. Just a great movie overall. If you haven't seen uh, Far From Home, just uh, skip to the end. But Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Peter McGuire. Or Jesus Christ, Peter McGuire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he might as well be. Uh, Toby McGuire. Uh, they all killed it. They so easily could have phoned it in, but they didn't. They were actually there for a purpose, and I actually enjoyed that. Like the everyone that's there for what would normally be fan service is there for a, a reason. Obviously, you know you got Lizard and Sandman. They were just kind of there to be there. Um, but like Andrew, uh, Toby, you know those guys, they didn't phone it in. They were they were there. They were there to be there, and uh, because of that, I'm going to give Spider Man. No Way Home in S tier. So, final, our final recap. Final recap. So, S tier, we have Infinity War, Winter Soldier, Civil War, Guardians 1, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man No Way Home, Thor Ragnarok, Loki, and Iron Man. A tier, we have Endgame, The First Avenger, Guardians 2, Far From Home, Black Panther, Hawkeye, and the First Avengers. In B tier, we have Shang-Chi, Ant-Man, Avengers, Age of Ultron, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, WandaVision, Doctor Strange, Iron Man 3, and What If. C tier, we have Ant-Man the Wasp, Iron Man 2, Thor, The Dark World, Thor 1, and Eternals. And in D tier, we have Captain Marvel, Black Widow, and the Hulk. So that captures all that. Thank you guys so much for listening to this, and if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your personal opinion on all the Marvel movies, and should I do this about DC? Should I do this about other things? Let me know, because this was fun to do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys later.